Hello everybody, it's currently 7th of August 2022, it's currently 10 to 8 in the evening, bonus log time. Right, for those of you that are long subscribers to the channel, thank you so much for continuing to support, you're absolutely amazing. And of course, you guys are probably aware that since I started the channel, the channel has made quite a few changes. Quite recently, it received the biggest change of all, which is moving my streaming setup from in there, my living room, to in here. Now this room is actually my bedroom. And this was a big, big project. It took three videos to get done. And it's probably been about three months since I made the change. I was going to do a reaction video, but I never got around to doing it. I was going to do the pluses and the minuses about what I like about it, what I don't like about it. But I didn't get around to it. But, yes, I'm, I'm in an R in. This weekend has not quite gone according to plan. And I have to admit, I'm sort of thinking now, do I like it? Do I prefer it? Or have we got to do something about it? And what I'm thinking is now, maybe which is looking more likely to be the case of, yes, I'm going to change it. And I'll tell you why. Okay, so this is my streaming setup. This green screen here has been here since Friday when I did my stream. And uh, this was a difficult project because I couldn't think of a sensible way of having a green screen in a confined space. So I got a wooden rail to put on the ceiling and it worked. It was fine for about a month and all of a sudden it snapped. So I placed the wooden rail with a metal rail and that solved that problem. But yes, three screens, I would like to get a fourth, but yes, it's nice to have a streaming set up with a desk. I've always wanted to have a streaming set up with a desk, and now I've got it, but the PC is on the floor. But again, all I've done now is I've moved it from there to here, so the problems I had in there are now in here. And this is, again, the biggest problem being clutter. And whichever way you want to look at it, whether it's cluttered or not cluttered, tidy or untidy, I've still got to sleep in this room at night. eBay. Um, and this weekend, I mean, I'm in an army, I've been pacing up and down, I'm thinking, right, is this better or is it worse? Now, I've got two ideas. Now, either I move the furniture around for a second time, I've got a bit of an idea of what I would like to do. Or the second one, which might surprise quite a lot of you, is put it back to how it was. Back in there. So, I'm not sure. Okay, so now we're in the living room, and yes, office chair is in here. I keep moving it from in there in here and yes the trouble is yes I'm using a green screen which is hanging from the ceiling in a confined space and the trouble is I keep doing this it doesn't happen all the time but sometimes it will catch the green screen on the back of the chair and sometimes it's ripped it down but yeah also I tend to slouch so yes I'm sitting here doing my editing I keep doing this I keep slouching putting the feet on the bed and it's not good and it's not the greatest chair either it really isn't so yeah, chair keeps getting moved from A to B. But the biggest problem is, is when it comes to chilling out, when it comes to relaxing, I'm pretty much spending all of my time in there. I want to spend more time in here, but also I miss doing videos in here. I miss editing in here. Um, but one of the biggest reasons is what I've got in here. Now I'm a big, big game collector. I love me boxes, me games, C64 games, C32, PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, and of course my DVDs. They're all here. And I'm not seeing them. All my hammer beads are up there. I'm not seeing them. I'm spending all my time in there. So it's almost like there's no point having them if you're not going to enjoy looking at them. So yeah, they're not getting a lot of uh, view, should we say. So I could have moved them in there, that was a possibility, but I don't want to have all this in there making that room even more cluttered. So it makes more sense to move it all back in here. Yes, it's going to make it more difficult. Again, streaming lights and tripods and cables is going to be a bit, a bit of a problem. It always has been, always will be. This is the old wooden pole I had for the old green screen which is just randomly laying on the floor. I don't know where to put it, but I've got no use for it anyway. So, um, yeah. So anyway, this is where, of course, my PC once was, but I've substituted it for this laptop, which is a gaming laptop. It was a very good laptop, but now it's very slow. So it needs a bit of work to try and pick up the speed. But yes, the editing, I was sitting here. And of course, yes, it's comfortable here. And yes, I like this. Yes, I'm twisting and turning all the time. But yes, I've got the coffee table here for mouse. Or sometimes I use the sofa for the mouse. Yeah, not professional, but it never was really, was it? But also, this bit of wood here is to stop my Jasper cat from jumping onto this table. Trouble is, he runs through there 100 miles an hour and jumps onto this coffee table. 
And that brings us on to another problem, which is my cat Jasper. Now he likes to go out the front door, of course. He loves to be in this window, of course. And every so often he wants to go outside. And if I'm in there, he's meowing his head off. I can't hear him. He wants to go out. I, I don't know where he is. So before, if he wants to go out, he'll meow at me, open the door, that's fine. But now, of course, I'm not here. He comes in this room, I've never been here. So, um, that's the situation. But yes, the green screen is still over there. I didn't take it down. I had no intention of taking it down, just in case I would need it again. And it's moving quite likely I might need it again. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm basically going to move the furniture in the bedroom. I've got an idea in my head. We'll see how it looks and if it works. If it doesn't work, then I'm going to go to plan B which is moving it back in here. Now it's not going to require much drilling, not require much sawing, it shouldn't require any sawing whatsoever. It will require some more buying, because yes, my green screen will have to be moved. Holes are going to have to be filled in, and also, yes, trimming lights. One has bolted to my wall, I've got to replace that one. But yeah, this one's also busted, it's got a broken plug, I've got to fix that or replace it, one of the two. A new tripod, I'm going through those like there's no tomorrow, but I might need to get a new one. And yeah, but of course, when I did the project originally, I was making some changes. I was decutterizing some things in this house. So if I move it back with the changes originally done, then that hopefully will eliminate some of the clutterness. Is that a word? Clutterness? It is now. So, anyway, it's currently 8 o'clock. Um, I'm going to make a start. It's very random to do it this time of night. But yeah, I'm going to start in there. I'm going to move the bed 90 degrees. The desk is going to be moved 90 degrees. Personally though, I don't think it's going to solve the issue. So yeah, this is the situation. But yeah, sometimes I'll leave it there if I need it again. Or sometimes I'll slide it. Or sometimes I completely don't need to take it down. But sometimes, if I'm really, really tired, I just leave it there. And of course I wake up in the morning. And there it is, right in my face. And um, at the moment of time, the bed has been pushed right up against the wall, which of course I cannot now get to the wardrobe. But in my wardrobe, again, you would have seen by my vlogs, now contains all of my CDs, which were originally here. And I'm probably going to move those again, I'm probably going to leave them there. But I don't want to keep moving the bed backwards and forwards every single time I want to record a video. You shouldn't have to, should you? You want to have your bed in the same place every single day so when you want to go to sleep, you haven't got to move the furniture around to get some sleep. And yes, it is a bit cluttered here as well. I've had things arrive which I've unpacked and I haven't really sorted that out because again, my mind's been focused on other things. Okay, it's currently nine o'clock. What a random time to start doing it, but we've got to start somewhere. However, I've thought of an idea. I have to admit, it's looking more likely I'm going to go back to the old way in the living room. But, yes, I'm going to be disappointed I'm going to be losing this. But not necessarily, because what I'm going to do, bed is going to be rotated 90 degrees. So it's going to go in this corner. Yes, bedside cabinet is going to have to be moved again. These two storage towers are going to have to be moved again. And I will be losing two drawers on this bed. Which, I have to admit, is not a bad problem. I put things in there I don't use very often. But I have to admit, at the moment of time, I can't use those two anyway. But that will give me more space. The desk is going to be rotated here. Which should give me more space. I've done the measurements. Now I could still technically have this set up. But not for streams and long play. So what I could do is I could still have this like this in here. For just chilling out. And then streams, long plays, pick up videos, unbox videos. In there in the old way. So I could still do some editing here if I wanted to, or some photoshopping here. Use this hammer bead table, why not? I think so.
these are these are actually my spatulas from my previous job. But yes, these have been used loads. And I don't know if you guys are the same, but if you leave a job, you can take something with you, a little souvenir. But yes, these we've got in the bin anyway. But these are very, very handy, and also so is that. So that's very, very good for getting labels off floors, for example. Very good. It's basically a scraper. But yeah, I like to keep those. Why not? Little souvenir. Yes. Right, again, move this. Again, it's heavy. I could take the drawers out to reduce the weight, but that's me. Move it like this. It's heavy. It's really heavy. Okay, again, we're moving these. And these, again, they all weigh a lot, but we're not moving the CD ones, only the video ones. Videos don't weigh quite as much as CDs, but then videos are big and bulky. But yeah, these aren't very, very big and bulky, but trouble is, eventually you're gonna get up the ghosts, and they're not gonna last forever, because they keep moving them all the time. Eventually you're gonna snap. But uh, trouble is, I don't know where to put it. That's the problem, it's space, once again. <clears throat> Okay, so now we're going to move the bed again, not far, but we're going to rotate it 90 degrees. So, it should go over there by window. And it's got wheels, so that does make it a lot more easy to move. But the size of this room doesn't help. It's a big bed in a small room. I'm gonna hang my clothes. Right. And yes, I am late next week, not early. Only a fool would do this the night before, get up at 5 o'clock in the morning. So, yes, I'm definitely late. Right. <clears throat> now, I haven't actually technically thought this through because, yes, I'm gonna be losing two drawers. Sort of. But no, I'm losing three because yes, the desk is going to block this one from opening. I might be able to open it a fraction, but then two of these drawers are used for clothes and the rest are not. So it might have to be just this one that contains clothes. Unless I can find some other system to put my clothes in because I don't have anywhere to hang my clothes and I'm not going to have any places to put my clothes either. So I'm going to absolutely have nowhere to put them. But we get to that when we get to that. Another problem I've got also is the plugs, or should we say the lack of plugs. This bedroom only has two plug sockets. One's over there, and one's behind there. But yes, it's not really a lot of options here. And also, that's why I've got so many extension cables with individual switches. It's making it more easier for me. But yeah, we're going to have to do a bit of a shop around with that. Yeah. So yeah, it's giving me more space there. Not a lot here, but in this desk, it's going to be rotated anyway. But, yeah, clothes is once again going to be a problem. I don't quite know what to do here. No. See, this could work, but not in terms of long play streams example, but more of as a chill out. But anyway, yes, I could probably put a chair in here, but it wouldn't give me much space at all. So I'm in this situation, now this was not where the desk was going to remain, I was going to rotate it round, but if I were to leave it like this, yes I'll get those drawers back, 
But that would certainly, without a shadow of a doubt, that would stop videos getting recorded because there's just no space here. I don't know if there's room for a chair, I don't know. But it'd have to be a fold-up chair, wouldn't it? Um, and I'd have to keep folding it away every time I want to get out of bed or get into bed. I could sit there like that, but I don't know. I suppose... See, I don't know. I have no idea. I mean, yes, that would work. But there's not a lot of room to move. But yes, I'd have to keep moving the chair every time or get myself a fold-up chair. But yes, I suppose, you know, that is a possibility. But not for long plays, not for streams. I mean, yes, I could still put the green screen up there. Okay, I'm just going to give it a bit of a try. I want to see if it's comfortable in a limited amount of space to play a game. So why not carve up? Love it. It's fantastic. But yeah, it's okay to play games in, but of course I can never stream here. I can never do long plays here. There's not enough space. But just trying to get a feel for it. But yeah, this could possibly be a possible place to play games in my spare time. But of course, I like to play the games in the living room on the big screen. But of course, it's nice to have a desk which I don't use very often. But we could change that. But if it's a possibility, then maybe. But I don't know. I mean, there's plenty of rooms to play games normally, just streaming them, recording them, it's a different story. But I think, yes, I'm realising that maybe I do need to give myself a small bed. But it's not a quick and easy thing to do, but I don't really want to eliminate a double bed. But that will save me so much space, it's insane. I don't know. I mean, it's fairly comfortable. I mean, yes, I might need to give myself a fold-up chair. That might solve it. In fact, I will solve it, but I have to keep folding it away, got to find someone to put it every time I'm finished with it. Okay, day two. I didn't technically do a lot in day one anyway, but it's currently 25 past 11. I start work at two. So, in the end, I decided I want to play some games, so I did just that. And um, I went to bed at half past four, as you do. That's normal for me, actually. So, I'm going to sneeze. Phew, ah, my lord. I forgot what I was saying now. So anyway, I played some games and, um, yeah, I want to get a feel for it. So yes, the chair was here and yes, I was fairly comfortable, fairly. But of course, yes, instead of sitting like that, I was more like that and twisting. But yes, there's, there is space for a chair, but not a lot of it. But yeah, as expected, you know, I went to bed, woke up, and of course the chair is right here. So the chair can't stay here all the time, unless I have a fold-up chair. But I also can't stay there all the time. So yes, even though it does work, it's not working for me. It's going to have to be rotated, so I'm going to turn this around. And yes, I slept on it last night. I thought, well, let's see how I feel in the morning and see what I think. And I still think the move has to happen, but I just don't know where I'm going to move things to. Okay, now this room has three problems. The problems are where things are located. The first one being the plugs. But the plugs, we can work around that by using extension cables. The second one is the location of the door. But I have to admit, since the change, it hasn't really been much of a problem. But the biggest problem, without a shadow of a doubt, is the wardrobe. Now, of course, the wardrobe isn't incredibly handy, but if I didn't have it, that would solve so many problems. I mean, there's hardly any clothes in there anyway. But yes, if the wardrobe wasn't there, the bed could go there, the desk could go there, there wouldn't be any problems, dramas, or issues. So I'm going to clear the air, and again, it's going to be the case of moving stuff around and seeing what is best. But pretty much everywhere where things are going to go, you're going to get a problem along the way. But we've got to eliminate the weight. See, last night I thought, shall we give it a try? Let's give it a whirl and see how it looks. But yes, technically it could work. The green screen is, of course, now over the beds. It still would be in the right location. But again, it's due to space with the chair. This is not a lot of room for the chair. But yeah, it would work like that. But again, chair near bed. Don't want that every single day.
Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to move all around again. However, this might have to move again, I'm not sure. However, this has been good. This is a good idea, and I haven't had any issues with it. And I've not once stubbed my toe on it, so it's been good. And also, yes, there's still good organisation to it. That one, I have to admit, has got a little bit out of hand. That's full to the brim. This one, I mean, it's just simple. If I want a mouse in there, there's one, two, three, four, five, six mice in there. It's easy to find. It's simple. It's not full to the brim. It's easy to find. Same with this one. I want a HDMI cable. In there is only HDMI cable, so again, it's easy to find. This one, I've got the Amiga power pack, I've got my OSSC, my HDV converter, and a temporary measure, I've got my controllers for my CNIT, for the Xbox 360, but that will be moved, but the moment of the time it's there, so it'll stand on it. Uh, that one's plugs, it's amazing how many plugs you've got, which is why I've individually labelled them, because it makes life so much easier. But yes, power packs, again, they're all in there. Same as there, there's more plugs in there as well. But yes, I've labelled them, so it's not so difficult to find. That one is just joysticks, mostly zip sticks are in there. That one is my mini systems. In there is my light guns and the cables I need to capture it on an old school TV. It's there. These ones are controllers for mini systems. This one are the controllers that are for not mini systems. So PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, Xbox One, for example, in there. And in there is my controllers for my CD32. So there is my CD32 Zipstick. And I've got my Competition Pros. They're all in there. And of course, that's big and bulky, so there's not many things in there. But again, if I want to use the CD32, I know where the controllers are. But it works. It's simple. And I have to admit, since the change, I've not played many DVDs in here. Legend. Not seen that for years, it's been absolutely years since I last saw that, bought it on Amazon. Right. Okay, so Jamie, it's that time again, we need some music, it's 5 to 12, so now I'm going to clear this area again and see where we go. But yes, of course, if you're moving it from one place to another, that's going to make moving around everywhere else in the house a bit of a problem. Gotta do what we gotta do, so yeah. Well, it's going okay. It's currently five to one. I have to stop in a minute. But yeah, I have to admit, it's mixed feelings. I don't like it because this is something I've wanted for quite some time, and now I've finally got it. 
I'm going to change it again, but there's just no other way. I just can't adapt to it. That's the problem. It's just too cluttered. It's too compacted. There's not enough room to move. This house is just too small for me. When I first moved in, yes, it was fine. It was perfect. But of course, over the course of time, you know, we've got more stuff. We're doing more things. Okay, so what we do now, I'm going to abandon this. Uh, I'm going to do some lunch, get my lunch ready for work, go to work, eight hours, and then come home, and hopefully, fresh head, we should be okay to go. But yes, I want to get the most of it out of the way before I leave. I don't want to start coming home and start unplugging cables and moving screens around, that sort of thing. But I will be moving furniture around. But with less furniture in here to move, and less clutter, it's going to make moving it a little bit more easier for me. Okay, so the state of play is this. The place is untidy, but no surprise. But anyway, it's now half past one, I'm off to work. So I'll resume this in about eight and a half hours time. So I'll see you later. Off we go. hungry. I'm not hungry. I've actually, I've actually had my dinner. I had a lasagna and chips at work. Yeah, it was nice actually. Filling. Yeah. Also, I had a can of fans of afterwards. I think that was too much. That really bloated my belly. So yeah, I wanted to have dinner at work so I didn't have to come home and start cooking because I want to try and continue with the project. <laughs> Alright, dinner. I'm gonna make myself a cup of tea. Okay, day three. Do I look tired? I do, don't I? Uh, yeah, a bit tired. Uh, quarter past ten. Now, last night I did not go according to plan. It really, really didn't. I planned it all out. Um, have to do it at work, so we've got to do it when we get home. So I got home, I sat on the bed to check my emails, and off I went. I was asleep. So I've got nothing done, <laughs> nothing done whatsoever. But anyway, it's currently quarter past 10. Weetabix. Going through a bit of a phase of Weetabix at the moment of time. Of course, Frosties is what I like to have the most. But yes, I'm going through a little bit of a Weetabix spell. But anyway, today I'm going to resume and hopefully get more done than what I did last night. Because last night I'd done absolutely nothing. So. Cup of tea, breakfast, I've also got a few parcels. One is still yet to arrive, but we're doing a little bit of unboxing as well. Mm. Okay, I'm just doing a quick unboxing. However, there's one more still to arrive. But anyway, I'm still waking up. Still not 100 with it, but unboxing time. So yeah, this one I ordered on Saturday. It's a very small box, look at that, that's it. Uh, this is basically a, a moss wag. Get your more moss wag. It's basically to allow me to listen to my phone from the car. I don't have the attachment to plug the phone into the car to listen to the car speakers. Because my new phone has got a different connector. So basically it's an adapter, so it converts the USB-C to a jack connector which allows me to plug the phone into my car. Sounds weird, doesn't it? I know. So I'm still using my old phone quite a lot, but of course I can't go on the internet with it unless I'm at home, but yes. This is really bad timing, or good timing, whatever the case may be. What's that? 
Boris Johnson rules out emergency measures. For what? Energy bills forecast to hit 4,200 a year by January. Next one. This is also Amazon. It's a DVD. Because I'm still buying DVDs. And we'll keep buying DVDs until they stop doing them. Right, I bought Willow. And I haven't seen this for about 20, 25 years-ish, maybe more. But yeah, it's been a long, long, long time since I last watched that. This is a special edition, digitally remastered. Uh, how long is it? 120 minutes. I won't watch it today, but maybe at the weekend I will. But anyway, yes, it's a fantastic film. But I have to admit, it's a blur. I can't remember a lot about it, but I know I liked it back in the day. So I'm trying to get myself a lot of these old school ones again, because some of these I haven't seen for so many years. It's ridiculous. But in the day, back in the day, you actually watched them quite a lot. Yeah. So, I'm going to sit here and drink my tea, and don't do what I did last night, and don't drink it and fall asleep. Okay, we're going to unplug the PC, where are going to put it, I don't know yet. But also, even though I've actually unplugged a lot of things and taken them out of this room, it's amazing how many cables still remain down there on the floor. Quite surprising, really. Alright. I have to admit, I'm quite surprised at how long that steering light stayed on the wall. I mean, these lights aren't designed to go onto the wall, which is why I was surprised it stayed there. But these two brackets, which I got from my, my last job, I bolted them to the wall and then clicked it that way. But yeah, they're not technically designed to go on walls. And also, I looked into it, I couldn't find a good alternative. There wasn't many options. Well, not cheap options anyway. This is so heavy, it's unbelievable. So heavy. Ugh. It's now starting to echo in here now. Right, so my mattress is in the hallway. My PC is in the hallway. Those two CD towers, which are filled with videos, are in the bathroom. Um, and the living room is unsit downable. I can't sit down in there, there's no space. But this bed does split in half. This way. If it went down that way, I just split the bed in half and put it there and we're done. But no, it won't work like that. Okay, so desk is there. What I'm going to do first is try out my original idea is bed there, desk this way. So yeah, it fits quite well actually, um, but that was the original idea, but again, the issue is still the bed. So the two drawers over there I can't use. I mean this one opens a fraction. I suppose that's better than I was expecting. That's my phone. But that's not filled up with clothes anyway. When you live in a small house, you've got to use whatever space you've got to try and eliminate clutter. In there is clothes. That's pretty much all t-shirts. So that one contains all my trousers, which of course I can't get to now. That one over there is again a storage place for additional stuff. Stuff I do use. <laughs> um, but I suppose I can go back a bit further. 
That's it. That's his maximum. So I suppose, yes, I could still get in there. Not me personally, I'm not gonna get in there. But I suppose, yeah, I could get access to some clothes. I suppose that's better than I was expecting, actually. There's certainly space for a chair. I could stream like this. I could do. I certainly have more space to do it. The problem is, you guys are probably thinking I'm overreacting a little bit here, but the problem is, I don't want to spend all my time in here. I want to spend more time in there. I quite enjoy editing from the living room. It's more comfortable, it's more spacious. And I get to look at my retro on the walls. But in here, yes, I'm recording and editing in here. So I'll be pretty much spending my entire time in here. I don't want to spend my entire time in here. It'd be nice if I can sort of record the footage in here and do the editing in there. Not both. However this, however, this is really made it difficult now because that is actually quite good. However, if I do go with this, this is going to have to come down. No question. Okay, so at the moment of time, it's looking likely the first one is going to be the more likely, but I want to experiment a little bit more. So the bed's gone back to how it was originally. And yes, these two drawers here can now open to 100%. The door can open to 100%. But we've now got issues with the wardrobe this time. So yeah, now we've got issues with this. There's always a problem. So... Again, issues, and again, it's the same drawer. However, I bring the bed this way, which then allow me to open the wardrobe to 100%, but now that is absolutely unopenable. Ready? Almost. It just catches a little bit. But at least it gets the drawer. Bingo. See, if I'm going to have it like this, then those boxes are going to have to go back there again. Which again, is going to be difficult to get in and out. But, I've got this crazy idea. Do I really need this door? Why about I just take the door off? That is also another possibility. How often do I close this door? I never, ever, ever close it. It's always open. If the door wasn't there, that would give me more space. I just thought of an idea. To make this easier for myself, why not put the desk on top of the bed? That way I'm keeping moving things around all the time. Just moving both at the same time. What's the advantage is, what's the disadvantage is? Well, again, we can't get to those two drawers over there, but we can get to that one. Sort of. But again, it's full up the stuff. But now, I can't get access to my t-shirts, but I can wear trousers and shorts, which is there. Um, it's clear of the door, it's clear of the wardrobe, but now the biggest problem now is the window. I think the window is the issue this time. Um, and the plug socket is under there, which I suppose is okay. The router will be out of the way, but now we've got an issue with the window. Um, but again, where is my bedside cabinet going to go? Where's my TV going to go? Where's those boxes going to go? There isn't anywhere. It's going to have to go here. But again, it's going to be producing space. Again, there's no room for chair. a nice tidy home now can ya? Unfortunately mine's not. It's not tidy, not in the slightest. The trouble is it's half past eleven. 
Yeah, I got home late because I went to do some shopping after work. Uh, food's currently cooking, Jasper's had his dinner, and he's now outside. But yeah, the problem is my mattress is still in the hallway, I'm still undecided where things are going to go. My living room is a mess. Yeah, pretty much that. Uh, but yeah, who starts this on a late shift? I mean, really, who would do that? Who would do eight hours, two till ten, they come home and start tying up their house and moving mattresses around and moving beds around? Now, there are a few things I'm going to try out as well. It's not just going to be moving beds around. There are a few other things I'd like to try and resolve because there's still a little bit of room for improvement. And I have got a few ideas in my head. I'm always thinking of things in my head. There's always stuff going around in there. Thinking, what if I do that? Can that be done? Is that possible? But you never know until you try. So, I'm not going to film everything. You're probably absolutely bored anyway. But yes, this has turned out to be a, move, a moving vlog. Jamie, it's 10 to 1. It's 10 to 1. Jamie, who does this on a Tuesday night? Well, no, it's not. It's Wednesday. Anyway, um, yes. There. No, it's no good. I'm trying every possibility here. That is no good. But again, there's not advantages, but there's more disadvantages than advantages. But again, chair, be too close to bed anyway. Door test. Yes, that passes that test. That. Well, it's not going to fit either. It might go in if I force it, but the trouble is then that that drawer is absolutely going to be unopenable. So, no. <laughs> well, that is actually now rubbing against the carpet. I've been moving it around so much, it's been bending, it's been bowing, things have fallen on the floor, what's that? Okay, it's now quarter past one in the morning, I know, who does this? However, I think this is going to be the one now, um, which is crazy because the bed has actually gone back to how it was originally, but when I first moved in in 2017, this desk I didn't have. The bed was actually here, where I'm currently sitting, then I moved it there, then I moved it there, and then a combination of yesterday and today, it's gone there, 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 back to there. But there's not going to be a perfect place, there never will be, but I think this is more likely to be the option. I can't see it being any other way. Yes, I quite like the desk over there, that was my favourite. But I wasn't getting the full use of that, of that drawer, whereas now I am. So yes, I can actually open that to 100%. I can take the drawer out if I want to. I'm not going to, because it's a difficult thing to get back in. But anyway, t-shirts in there. This one, again, has got random stuff in there. So what I'll do is I'll take that out, put those in those two drawers at the back, and if I want to get access to them, then yes, I can move the bed out like that. It's not a big, big deal. And of course, yes, it's got wheels, so not a problem at all. But yes, the things in there are things I'm going to use, but not things I need on a regular basis. But clothes, yes, I do wear clothes. You all wear clothes. You've got to get easy access to your clothes. Okay, guys, if you're still awake, you're still with me, I really, really do appreciate it. But anyway, let's show you the advantages of why this is looking more likely. First things first, wardrobe door. Wardrobe door one opens to 100%, which is fantastic, but only just. And wardrobe door two also opens to 100% and also goes beyond that. So I can get access to my CDs. Which is quite a good thing actually, because if I'm sitting here discussing about music on stream, and I have to admit there's been times when we have, I can so easily just open the door and just reach in and grab a CD. Yeah, we're talking about this one, I've got that one. But also, yes, there's work that needs to be done in here. We might do it later on today. But anyway, that opens. One confused pussycat. Okay, advantage number two. 
plug socket right here. So yes, I could put my bedside cabinet here. That makes sense. I have to admit, I was in two minds to sell it. But I think like this, yes, I can have it. The only disadvantage of that is if the bedside cabinet is here, the plug socket is there, so I can put the lamp on there, the radio on there, I can charge my phone up there. But the only downside is gonna be the drawer again. But I don't think I'm gonna get around that problem. It might open to about there, but no further than that. But it should be enough space for me to get to close. I think so. And finally, the area at the end of the bed and to the right of the desk. Now this is not a great location. It's a bit of a dumping ground. This is where the plugs are, the cables are, and where the router is. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use it wisely because this is not an area where I'm gonna go. It's not big enough. So I'm gonna use it wisely. Four boxes, one, two, three, and four. The ones I have for my SCART cables, my control pads, my joysticks, that sort of thing. The MDF on the top as before, the TV on top of there as before, and the DVD there. So that's using this area 100% wisely. So I'm really, really happy with that. And of course, the cables will be covered up. No big deal there. Router is in a reasonable place. It's not been extended. It's not in the way. I'm not going to trip over it. It's fine. And of course, there's a plug there as well. Okay, next day. Is it day three? I think so. Currently 20 past 10 on Wednesday the 10th of August 2022. Right, let's put everything back and see how it looks. There's more space there for another one, which I don't have. Uh, and also now, if I buy another one, the MDF is going to be too short. So yes, it's a good idea, it's a fantastic idea, but that's now going to cost me more money. <laughs> so, I'm going to buy one now. What time is it? 20 to 11. Yeah. So yeah, bonus that. So yeah, what bonus that was? That's fantastic. But of course, it comes at a price because of course we've got to spend more money. But of course now the piece of wood that was on top is now too short. So I've just gone to B and Q, got a bigger piece of MDF wood. But unfortunately, there was no one there to cut it. So I've got to leave it. Yes, I have got a saw, but I won't cut professionally. I'm not wonky. Even though my wooden cutting skills is quite good, but I want this to be perfect. So yes, unfortunately, I had to buy a bigger piece. But yeah, I wrote the measurements on my hand. Uh, 130 centimetres by 38 centimetres is the cut I need. I need someone to cut it. So anyway... Doorbell. Okay, so yes, I have bought quite a few mini boxes recently. I know, I can't help it, I love it. And of course, yes, there is enough to do in the next pickup video when I get around to doing it. Now, I did buy myself the latest issue of Amida Addict. And you never know, one day, you never know, Morganus Games might be in one of these. That'd be fantastic. But yes, um, this is the only one I've got. So I need to try and get the rest of them, which of course could be quite pricey. But I have to admit, a little bit of me is disappointed. Yes, it's got the, the image of the disc on there, which is Nightmare. 
it's a shame it's not actually there. It would be nice to have the disc on there. That'd be fantastic. It's five ninety nine. Surely, you know, they could have done that. I'd pay another few pounds for that. That's fantastic because again, I miss those days. But yeah, it's a really, really nice touch. I mean, who would have thought we'd be getting Amiga magazines in WH Smiths here in the year 2022? The first time I saw it was Christmas last year, and I thought, really? That's amazing. So yes, I must get them. But yes, my goal is now to get the channel with one of those, or Retro Gamer, or both. It's a bit too greedy, isn't it? Uh, also, from work, let's talk work now. And of course, as you know, I have started a new job. Yesterday, I got my certificates. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, this is the National Skills Academy Food and Drink. The National Skills Academy Food and Drink, I've read that twice. Statement of completion. This statement confirms that Jamie Morgan has completed the following e-course, Food Safety Level 2, completed on the 26th of July, 2022. And this one, um, that's has confirmed that Jamie Morgan has completed the following National Skills Academy online course level 2, level 2 health and safety, again the same date. Yeah. So it's going well, it is going well. So, unboxing time. Again, I've got nowhere to put things. But yes, every time I see to clear this place up, it gets untidy again, but then I keep doing this project quite often. I mean, who has a bedside table in their living room? Unless you sleep in your living room, then that makes sense. However, last night, I'm very surprised I didn't. Because it was very, very late until I actually got into bed. So, this is an Amiga box. And this is quite a pricey one, but it's one that I've wanted to get for quite some time. And it's one of those ones I never thought I'd actually be able to own. Not only own it, but own it in mint condition as well. So this one, only 5,000 were sold. So there's a clue for you, but I have been talking about it on live stream. Now, again, the seller has packed it really, really, really well. I've got a knife. I probably won't need it, but I'll use it anyway. But it's fantastic. And again, by the looks of it, more plastic sleeves have been included. But it's such a shame. They haven't done them for the big boxes because yeah, they're essential. You want to keep them in tip-top condition. But again, one, two, three, four, five. That's, I mean, I've got 15 at least lying around. And of course, I will use them. Goes on. <laughs> it's still going. Jamie, you're making more mess. Oh no, more mess. More mess. More mess. It just keeps on going. It's like a big stream past the parcel. Except only one player. So I get it. <laughs> We're nearly there. We are getting there. I see it now. I do not want to wreck this box. I don't want to wreck any of them. There you go. Fantastic. Look at that. So there we go, a mint version of Worms Director's Cut. Yes! Fantastic! From the team who brought you the award winning Worms comes Worms Director's Cut. We find and update it. The best version of Worms you can buy. And possibly the finest mini game to date. Fantastic. Yeah, copyright 1996. But I believe it was released in 1997. I think so. So there we go, a nice addition to my ever-growing Amiga box collection. I've been collecting them since the late 80s, and do you know what? I'm not going to stop. Why should I? The only thing going to make me stop is I die. <laughs> that's nice, Jamie. That's jolly, isn't it? Yes, that's fantastic, isn't it? I mean, really, where does one start? Where does one begin? Where do you resume from? Where does stuff over the place? Um... I'm started. Right. And also, once I get that piece of MDF cut, of course it's going to be longer. Give me more space. So yes, the TV's going to go on there, the DVD player's going to go on there, and maybe Hi-Fi as well. I think that's pushing it a little bit, but I think it may be doable. But then where's the speakers going to go? Probably won't then. Videos, put in there. Uh, bits of wood, a few random CDs, put them down there. The trouble is, I'm worried it's gonna snap or, or the, the top's gonna come off because that is, feels like it's moving somewhere. I think a bolt is loose somewhere. I've got PC down there, gotta lift it over that. Oh. 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 Right? Look at that! Previous 
actually last night this fan fell on the floor and it still works however it, it shouldn't do that so i don't know what's actually rattling in there but you can't actually see it so i'm guessing it's in there somewhere but amazingly it does still work but i need to open that up and find out what's busted and is it fixable whatever it is it does work without it but yeah i can't see what it is oh i found it oh it's just a screw it's just a random screw oh that's not too bad then so yeah look plenty of space look unbelievable amazing and look I know it's simple thing, I know, but yeah, that's just, again, it's pleasing. It's nice to have doors that open to 100%, and also wardrobes also open to 100%. So yeah, door, door, door opens. Yes, I like it. Yes. So this shelf here, I have to admit, I was worried it was to come down. I have to admit, I didn't want to take it down, but this is probably the most sturdy shelf in this house. But yes, there's a lot of weight on there. And yes, if I was going to put the desk there originally, then yes, that would have had to come down to be hitting my head on it. And I have to move it over there, but I don't really want to move it because it's it's perfect. Ow, little hand! Ouch! I mean, yeah, this is fantastic. I mean, look, I mean, I can do that. I mean, it's not a problem at all. It really isn't. Yes, it's making me dizzy already. But space, lots of space. Um, so it's looking more likely I have to continue like this because this is the most spacious it's ever been. It'd be nice to have stuff on there, maybe posters or, I don't know, storage for games, I guess. I don't know. Hammer beads? It'd be nice to have some hammer beads in here. So yes, there has been times on stream where we've been talking about music. And for example, Mr. Sweetest House will say to me, have you got a specific CD? And I say, yes, I have. Or no, I haven't. It's got to be one of those two, isn't it? And I'll be like, I can't show you right now. I can't reach it right now. But for example, you might say to me, have you got the Punisher soundtrack? Yes, I have. I'm going to go, yeah. I mean, that's so much easier. I didn't even get out of my chair. It's fantastic. But yes, that is so much easier. And being in alphabetical order, it's a breeze. Fine. Just look in peace. It's fine. The thing is, though, with T, T is an unusual one, isn't it? Because there's so many artists that start with the. But I don't think the should come under T. So I wouldn't put the Punisher in T or the Hives. So I'd put Punisher in P. I'd put Hives in H. But yes, if you're going to put the, you have so many T's. And I have to admit, there is a lot of T's there. I have to admit, I've not had a cup of tea for about two hours. I'm definitely in need of a tea. Okay, it's Saturday, the 13th of August 2022, currently called us 4. Right, a few more things need to be done, but I'm not going to record all of it. I'm going to edit down quite a lot because the video is long enough to this point. But pretty much what we've been doing the last few days is editing the video to this point. But anyway, the rail on the ceiling, which is for the green screen, is going to be moved from there to roughly here. Uh, I'm also going to adjust the rail in the wardrobe to hopefully allow some clothes to be hung up in there. But I do need to get myself some more coat hangers. And the final thing is plug sockets. Now I've got two extension cables, one down there and one over there. Now I don't want things on the floor. I'm trying to prevent that so I'm going to put those on the wall as well. Hopefully I've got enough screws, hopefully I've got enough wall plugs and the charger is fully charged. Okay, we are ready to go. Sort of.
I'm making some good progress. That's the first bracket done, but I'm using OBS as a guide. So of course my webcam is active. So I'm using that as a guide to try and get it in the right position. But that is perfect. That is absolutely superb. Right, so this is not simple. It never is, but I've got to get it absolutely perfect. Yeah. Oh, where's the bracket? Oh, it's over there, isn't it? So yeah, this is actually the fourth time I've done it now. The first wooden pole, which was on the ceiling, was too close to the desk. I moved it back further. Get it snapped, and I took it down, bought this one, put it up, and now I'm moving it again. So that's number four. So this is the fourth time. Right, so I'm gonna draw a circle around that bracket so we get a rough idea. That'll do. Do you know what? I was talking to a friend colleague at work. His name's Ross, a really nice guy. And uh, he also lives in a rented property. And of course, I've been telling him about the things that I do here, all the shelves I've been putting up and the hammer bees and that sort of stuff. And he says, do you have to get permission to do that? I went, no, just done it. <laughs> and uh, I said, yes, I had, have had, have had some experience. I did say to him also that yes, I have had some inspections and not once has she said anything about the shelves on the wall. She just said, well, you've settled in well here, haven't you? Um, so yeah, I have done quite a lot of work, which she hasn't really sort of had any input with. But he also did say to me that, you know, he's not even allowed to put a single shelf on his wall. He's not allowed to. So yeah, I feel sorry for him because he's not actually technically allowed to put anything on the wall, whereas I've been doing loads. So yeah, apparently he is not allowed to, in any shape or form, to put anything on the wall. A shelf. No. Nothing. He's not allowed to do anything. Basically, the landlord is incredibly strict and said, no, 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 you don't own this property, I do. So you're followed by my rules. But I really do feel for it because, you know, you just feel like, yes, you're living there, you're paying to live there, but you're not allowed to do what you want. And you should be allowed to put something on the wall at least. I said, what even about... A what about a picture? He let's put a picture on the wall. He says, no, nope, not allowed to put a picture on the wall. Basically, nothing. That is there for just you to live and his girlfriend or fiance and your furniture. As long as it's go on the wall or the ceiling, you're good to go. Damn it. That's not that's wonky. That's wonky donkey. Oh, that's not up there probably. But yeah. But yeah, I mean, next year he's actually moving out. Uh, once his contract runs out, he's not going to renew it. But unfortunately, that's not until September. September 2023, so he's got to stay there for that amount of time. And then he can move out. So it's just... Life's too damn cruel. You can work hard, earn the money to pay the bills. And you've got to be as strict as that. I've done the complete opposite. I've done everything differently. I mean, I haven't once got permission before I've done what I've done. I've done it. But she is a really, really nice landlady. I've had no issues with her. And since I've moved in, I've only had three inspections. Not once as you said, why is that there? Why have you done that? Yeah, I'm not taking the mick, even though I am actually drilling to the ceiling for the fourth time. But yeah, she did came... <laughs> That's weird. I don't know. Right, but yeah, the last time she was here, that wooden curtain rail was actually on the ceiling. I kept thinking she's going to say something about that. Jamie, why is there a curtain rail on your ceiling? She didn't say anything. If she didn't say anything, either she didn't notice it, or she thought, yeah, that's normal. Move on. <laughs> right. Please, 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 hope this works. There you go, I'm happy with that. My lord, hopefully that's for the final time until I move out. That is secure. 
Now before even putting it onto the ceiling, I already know it's going to be better because now it's not so close to the window whereas it was before. And because it had the blinds, it wasn't going straight down, it was going down like that. So as a result of that, I put a hook on the wall and mum did an alteration to this, and you can see, but she put that on there. So I hooked that round the hook and that kept it in place, but it was never going to go straight back down. So of course it's going at an angle, whereas now, because it's central, there's no window in its way, it doesn't go straight down to the ground and that's how it's going to remain. So it won't need any alterations, no hooks, nothing like that. So it should be good. There shouldn't be any creases either. Right, so how's it looking on there? It's currently Sunday, the 14th of August, 2022, currently 10 past 6. I'm done. It's been a very, very tough project. Every time all this game does a project, it is very time consuming. But yes, I did start it on the late shift. It probably wasn't a smart move, but I wanted to get done anyway. But also, what has also made it very tough is how hot it's been. It's been unbearable, but fans... I have got fans, but I haven't been able to use them when recording, because of course the microphone will pick up the sound. So I haven't used them very much, but I'm very happy. And of course, yes, I still would have liked to have gone back to the old way, but I still think that would open up more problems. And again, the cussedness is going to return. So I thought this was the best option. And for the first time in a, I don't know how long it's been now, absolutely years since I last had a desk, which was spacious. I've got so much room here. And yes, doors are still open to 100%. So I'm very happy with that, but yeah. So anyway, yes, the streaming light has been put back onto the wall, pretty much the same way as before, and it stayed there, which is great. Uh, the doors still open to 100%. I've had a bit of sort out in there, uh, so much, much better and easy accessible. And of course, yes, the door still opens over there as well, and down there is fairly organised and spacious and tidy. So yeah. So there we go, helicopter dancing once again, and again, this time with a streaming setup in place. But yes, the chair can be moved around, it's not a big, big deal. Uh, I might put it in there, it will fit, I'm not sure, I haven't done the measurements yet. But again, it's not a big, big problem, just move it around. When the green screen is in use, uh, there should be plenty of space to go around it. So if I want to go and get myself a drink, I haven't got to take it down or move it, so it should be fine. But again, got to do some tests. But yeah, hopefully all should be good, all should be well. Now this area over here has been the biggest surprise because this was unexpected because this actually gave me more space to allow me to get more boxes. Which of course I'm using wisely. So yes, I've gone through them again and again in that one, this is the new one. That contains just internet cables, nothing more, nothing less. That one contains just SCART cables, nothing more, nothing less. And the one at the bottom you can't see is basically cables that don't have a SCART cable. So yes, I wanted to keep those separate because they've all combined into one box. It's very difficult to find one specific lead. So I've gone for all the other ones. That's just HMI cables. That's just mice. That's just joysticks. That one is plugs. They're not so full up anymore. So it's great. It's fantastic. But yes, it's great. I love it. It's fantastic. And another thing, if I'm sitting here recording a video or streaming, I can actually look out the window this time. Okay, there's not a lot to see out there, but before I couldn't really sort of look out there, but now I can. And also, hopefully it won't affect Jasper too much. It'll be easy for him to get in and out as well, because again, the green screen was an issue with the blind and the curtain. So yeah. Thank you very much for watching people, I hope you enjoyed it and of course that's the reason why there hasn't been many videos uploaded, why there hasn't been many long plays, because I needed to try and sort this out first. But of course, once I adapt to the change, when I get used to the change, then hopefully the videos will resume. So that was the reason why I've been quiet recently. But anyway, it's more just games. Please like the comments, share, subscribe, and channel, face the fan page, which is on Twitch, or something more just games, find it fairly easy. Please don't hit the bell icon, and don't find videos over fantastic. We're not these all videos, these videos are quite rare. I do best on the sheets, habit making, and live streams of Friday night, you sign a bit clock, it's how it works. It's not easy. Ciao, bye, see ya.